What's up YouTube? This is Decimatus, back from our Civ 6 achievement guides. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the achievement Pizza Party. This homage to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reads, Activate Leonardo da Vinci in New York City with great works from Michelangelo and Donatello and a sewer all in that city. I found this to be the most difficult achievement in the game by far, and I have to say, the reason they didn't include Raphael is probably because it would have made it even harder. The reason that this achievement is so difficult is because you have to find a delicate balance between your great person points, building your civilization, and trying to stay alive just in case you have an over-aggressive civ you're playing against or you find yourself in an unfavorable position on the map. There are a few things to remember when setting up the map and your cities for this. You need to be able to activate Leonardo da Vinci in New York. So this means that even if your only industrial zone isn't in New York, you need to have one here. You also need to have a theater district with an art museum so that you can store the paintings from both Michelangelo and Donatello. This means New York has to have both an industrial district and a theater district. I also chose a huge island plates map and set China as my only opponent for this game. As long as you're not going crazy with wonders, China will usually just ally with you and you can have a relatively conflict-free game, which I find to be very helpful for a lot of these achievements. The biggest challenge here is definitely earning the great person points before the eras progress. If either you or the comm progress past the Renaissance era before you've earned your great people, your chance to do so is gone and you will have to start over. It seemed like the six cities I ended up with before finally getting New York was the perfect number and I was able to get ample great person points by building districts in each city. Also remember to complete district projects whenever possible. Here I'm focusing on industrial districts because I have yet to unlock Leonardo. That is to say I'm not even working towards him yet, I'm still working towards the person before him and I need to get as many of those great person points out as possible so that I can get to him before the era advances. Let's skip a few turns, and it looks like Donatello's finished. Let's get him started on his journey over to New York so that he can pump out a few statues for us, and we can have our pizza party. We know that next is going to be Michelangelo. He's the only Renaissance painter left. I also finished that other engineer, which means I'm now working on Leonardo. Which means at this point, if I wanted, I could start rushing science. Sanitation's about to finish, so let's go over everything. We've got Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, Donatello. Under our great works, you can clearly see we've got a work of art from each of them in our art museum, and that's definitely New York. That means that all we've got to do is purchase that next turn once the research finishes. And with that research finished, let's go ahead and pull up New York's purchase an item with gold screen and get our sewer. And then let's activate our Leonardo da Vinci. And there we go, pizza party. Not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed that there's no Raphael and there's no Splinter, but eh, you take what you can get. Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to check out one of my other videos from the sidebar. And let me know in the comment section down below what Civ 6 achievements you'd like to see me do next. And remember, there's always time for one more turn.